You guys, Hi. choose a uh, paper. Color. Well, there's not a whole lot of colors, but we will see green and, and red. Oh, yeah. So choose, choose one. Okay, so we're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it, color side down. Whoops, it's all wet right here. Okay, that's all right. Just go ahead and fold it in half, and then open it up, and you're gonna use that crease and then fold it again into four, both, both sides. I'm just gonna fold it into the uh -huh. center. Yeah. So when you make your crease, make sure you get, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, just press down on the edges. So. So yeah. This yeah, but with the color side, yeah, oh. yeah. Do, do it the, the same way now. Fold, okay. fold into the center like that. Yeah. And, then and fold I like into the center. Down. Yeah. Okay. And when you got that, you're gonna turn it and perpendicular. Just fold the other side. All into the center. You're gonna fold it in half. What's perpendicular? <laughs> perpendicular. You know, 90 degree angle. Okay. Corner. Okay. And then you're gonna turn and go the other way. Yeah, okay, so now fold it this way now. Okay, so you have the lines. So you end, you're going to end up with 16 little squares, okay, on your paper. And then just open it up, and they'll have like 16 squares, okay? And we'll wait till everybody catches up. Fold it one more time in the center. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're good. Are done? Okay, flip it over now so the white side is down, and then you're going to fold into the center with the diagonals. Four times, kind of like, have you ever done a cootie catcher? Yes. Okay, so you're just holding into the center like you're making a cootie, cootie catcher. I know, it's kind of hard to see because of the pattern and stuff, but just kind of look for the pieces. And did you guys like cut these out? Yeah, I did, I cut these out of stock paper. I don't like cutting. Oh, you yeah. don't? No, I get mad when I cut. Oh. <laughs> Is it always with square pieces of paper? Is that um, the best? Generally, origami is done with square pieces of paper, but sometimes they, uh, you can use a rectangle or even a circular piece of paper. Okay, now put the back up open, and so the white side is up. Okay, and then along here, these creases, if you, all, where all the creases are, okay, it kind of will self-fold itself, but watch what I'm doing. I'm taking the four sides in, and you're gonna kind of collapse it into oh I see it see yeah it, yeah there you go that. it, it kind of collapses okay let's see oh, this. see they have the creases okay, here already made cool. and it just kind of collapses back into oh, oh, it makes a little square yeah like and so Those yes are cool. and so it kind of collapses yeah. so that it goes flat oh, look, it's a table. so now you're gonna just put it down all flat oh. okay this is just flat. bring it in cool. from the corners and then Put that in the center, and it just kind of collapses. Oh, yeah. And then, if you guys forget how to do this, you can go to YouTube and and I think uh, search under origami top, and the instructions are there. Okay. I'm gonna put this on YouTube. So now, this part, if you look here in the center, it's kind of you're gonna take this edge, okay, and you're gonna kind of fold it. It's it's kind of hard to see, but okay, let me do show one person at a time. You're gonna, oops, I don't want to share that. But you're gonna bring this edge into that center crease there, and kind of open it up like this. So like this, what so this, this, this outer edge here, this outer edge here. So like this? Okay, of your, yeah, and then what you're doing is you're kind of opening it up into this kind of a shape. Okay. So this edge here is gonna, you're kind of gonna fold it in to the middle, like that. That See looks how that's very done? difficult, I don't know how to okay, do that. Okay, let me do that for each of you, okay? Um, On, and then just kind of look for the center and just kind of, so this is gonna come in and fold into the center like oh, this and just cool. kind of line it all up until like, you get this big, I don't know, diamond kite shape. Okay, so, so you see, one? yeah, all four, four or, so this edge right here, you're gonna fold it in, kind of, and lift this up, but fold it in to go towards this. You see this in middle line yeah. in there? You're just kind of folding it in to that middle line. Okay. And, and, and pulling yes, this so part up. So that it's a point here, and then this side is gonna go in. Oops, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, okay. So anyway, that part's gonna go into the center, and this is gonna come up here, and then you're gonna fold this edge in also. Whoopsie. Okay. This is pretty advanced stuff. Yeah, this is the hardest part. Um, <laughs> you can kind of 
Actually, there's a different one. Let me show you another way in case that's too hard. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can kind of fold this over like that so that you have a center line there so you can see that center line. Okay. And then fold the two sides into the center line. So you end up with this kite looking thing. So you can do that so it looks like a kite. You're going to fold these two um. sides into the center so it looks like a kite. Okay. Can you get that? Fold it in. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. And then you're going to fold this way so it looks like a, like a kite with the point going towards the center. Yeah. And then you open it up and those lines are already there. So all you have to do is kind of turn some of those lines do we need to okay. the opposite way. Yeah. You can do that for all of them and open them up like that. Oh, so they okay. all lay flat like that. Okay. So did you see how I did those lines in I like that? I don't know how you open it. Okay. Unfold it. You got it. Like that. And see those lines are already in there? Mm -hmm. That you already made those creases? You're going to just refold on the creases, but at the oh. same time kind of pull up really? on those creases cool. and it goes like that. Mm -hmm. Okay? So how are you going to choose colors that you want? Mm -hmm. Your bottom, middle, um, and top. I'm a little. So choose two colors. One's going to be your bottom, one's going to be the... Oh, well, you already have the bottom, but you need a middle and a top color. So, yeah, go ahead and so choose. Two, pieces? two colors, yeah. Actually, I want... You want... that one. Where's, where's lavender? This one. Anybody want lavender? Yeah, because then they'll fight over that one. <laughs> well, my favorite color is lavender. There's some gray, I don't know. So I got More it lavender. Like this. I need to help yeah, oh, okay, you know what? I can give you some paper. I Actually, oh. go ahead and um, you're going to need to get you some of the thicker paper. You want the, I like, so like the thicker this? paper for the bottom of the top. Good. Like it gives it structure. Stuff. No, stru it makes it. Um, I've got it. It's so just kind of nice. It just makes yeah. it last longer. They go ahead. So how many together, top you want, you're going to pick off. Uh, one of these yeah, and you've two got of it. these colors. Just kind of okay. the point. I want to yeah. make one so for my So let's finish bed. this one first, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're here. Everybody's here? Uh -huh. Okay. okay. So Can you check this one here? I, I have yeah, it looks pretty good. It's okay. It's, it's close enough. Because what you're going to do is now you're going to take this part and fold it out like that the, on all four flaps mm -hmm. like that. What do I do? Okay. Let me do it for each one of you, okay? Oh, you're going to take this little part in the center and fold it out like that. So do it four times. You're going to take this and fold it out. It, you'll see it, you have to stop right there where that crease is. So you're going to fold it out to that crease like that all four times. You did it great. Okay. And so fold them all out. Stop at the crease, yeah. Okay. And then you're over here. Fold this other part back into the center. Yeah, like that for now. Okay. And they should be in the center like that. So it didn't matter that it was. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Uh -oh. okay. Do they no. all have to like this? touch each other? No, they're not going to touch. Um, yes, perfect. And now you're going to fold this part into the center. Okay? And then we'll just leave that aside. And Whoa. did you that choose, you choose your next so color finished. that you want? Uh -huh. Yeah, is that, that the one you Oh, you're good. You're good. This part's going in to the center. There so we go. just set it to the side. You yeah. look really good. Everybody got a color, got a color for yep. the next one? Yeah. Okay. Um, this one you're going to fold in half first. With the color? With the color side out. This one's not so uh, important which it's, it's which way you color in or out. Yeah. I mean, which oh, way do you the fold. same thing? Yeah. And then you're going to make four squares. So this way. Two folds. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to fold into the center like you're making a cootie catcher. All four corners are going to be folded into the center. Okay. I don't want to rip the paper because it's so thin. Yeah, this one's much thinner than the other one. But that's why I like this to be at the bottom because that's the part that's spinning and yeah. it gets kind of messed up. So if you have a, a stronger paper. Yeah, if this like was on the bottom, yeah. it'd probably get burned. Yeah. Yep. It'd get yeah. It's great. And you see, you're sitting quietly and you're not bothering anybody. So she won't she let me. She, she won't let you. At me. Oh, because you're fiddling in class, maybe she thinks. Yeah. Okay, so you've all done that. Flip it over to the side that has no folds or creases or openings. And then you're going to fold all those points again into the center, just like we just did. Once. This is, exactly this is the second time we're doing it. Yeah. But now it's a smaller square. Is this like. And then if you 
This is actually the, the cootie catcher, right, at this yeah. point? Yeah. Okay, but instead of leaving it in the cootie catcher, we're going to flip it one more time and fold again into the center. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That's a lot of folding. The yes, it is. Hopefully I remember all this. Uh-huh. Well, YouTube has the instructions, so if you forget... I'm going to post it, then you, you guys can, can look at it. You can look at, look at it. It will be on our website. Okay. And then flip it over, and this time you're going to fold just this flap open like that. Okay? All right? Just the four. Okay? So, yeah, flip it over to this side, and you're going to just fold it open like that. It makes kind of like a little decorative. Uh, then, yeah. is this the middle? Okay. Wait, which part do you flip out? I can't fold this. this I'm sorry. It was <laughs> after folding it here. Okay. Then this part just folds up again. Okay. Uh, I think like I that. Fold a yeah. No, you're fine. You're fine. Now you're gonna flip it over one more time. Oh, oh. flip it and over. And this time, yeah. Now you fold that out after you flipped I think it over. You missed it. I thought you had to. So each time you're, yeah. Each time you fold, you flip. Okay. So you're, yeah. You're perfect. So just fold it this way. Ah. Oh. Like that. Okay. And then. You see this white point here? You've now got these other blue points with a tab. You're gonna kind of take it like this. Your tab is here. You're gonna take that point and just tuck it under there on all four all corners. Four yeah, oh. one, two, oh. three, and four, and tuck it in so it looks like this. Okay, so take it there and, and um, that point right here like under like just kind of tuck it under. Yeah, so get your points, and then you're going to take this. Why is that tucking? Yeah, and tuck it under there. Okay, oopsie, hold it there. And then lift and tuck in the next one. Are you going in the right spot? Yeah, in the white? Yeah. So you kind of have to pull back and then lift it and tuck it under. And then kind of hold it there and lift it and tuck so it under. So it's already spinning, but you kind of need a little handle to spin, right? No. So take one more paper. Um, color. Do you have a lighter purple? Uh, lighter than that one? I don't yeah. think I do. I think that's the only purple that comes in this pack. So that's, yeah, oh, you like you want a lavender. Delaney. Yeah, there's no. Look. So. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, so now your third color, you're going to do it just as we started with this one, just like a cootie catcher. You're going to fold the four squares in half and in half again the other way. Oh, so it's like... Yeah. Yep. And then we're going to fold into the center. The points will go into the center just like we did before. But this time you don't need to flip your paper. Okay, what? We're going to fold into the center just like that we did before. All four into the center. But don't flip your paper this time. Okay? So after we fold, fold it all four in the center, then you're going to take the points again and fold them all four again into the center to make an even smaller square. Yep. All four points down into the center. So leave them folded down into the center as you go. Okay? okay now Good. Now these. fold again into the center. Yep. You don't need to flip it over or anything this time. Okay? So you do that twice. Do it so three don't times. Don't flip it over? Don't flip it over. Now, um, now you're going to fold again the points into the into the center. Good. Okay. You did it. No. Um, you did it this fine. This one's starting to okay. overlap. Um, tr yeah. Try. Yeah. It should be okay. Okay, and now you're gonna fold again your points into the center again. Okay. How many times? Three times total. So you got you got one more time to go after this. Yeah, she's the pink is on the last. That was Emily. She's on her last. So now, do you notice there's like these little crisscrosses in here? You're gonna fold along there, just like that, so it looks like a triangle. On the other side. Uh, no, just onto the yeah, on the same side. And then turn it again and fold again on the on the triangle. Fold it like this and then like this on the triangle. That's okay. You know, yeah. Mine's a little awkward. Yeah. Okay. Just don't fold it so quick. So. Okay. In this way. No. And then open it and fold it again on the triangle. And then you're gonna take your triangle and kind of, well. Fold it like that. Or else you could turn it and make. This extra like crease like this. Crease it this way. Yes, perfect. Okay. What do I do now? And okay, you did. It, then, you, then fold it this way in half. Uh, turn it around the other way so that the plain side. Turn it. Flip help? it now. This time you flip it. Now fold it in half. On no, on the di. Uh, down on the diagonal, like but straight like a. Uh, like this. Like this. Yeah, like a rectangle. Okay. Oh, did you okay. did you fold? Yeah. Okay. That's almost. Let's see. Let's get a little crease here going this way. And a crease going this way. Okay. 
and and you find that the if you're more accurate with your folding, your final result will be nice and neat. So go ahead and, and hold tuck them. Yeah, so you're gonna I take do? the point, yeah. and now you're gonna tuck it. Okay, so it looks should look like this. Yeah. Okay, you you, you tucked it the the other way. Okay, this way. I Turn it this it. way, so it goes like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now um, these sharp points are gonna go right under the where the blue flaps are. You're gonna lift up the blue flap, tuck it under the sharp point, tuck it under the flap. Okay. Lift and tuck. And these are kind of easier to fit in because um, you can turn it either way, like this, Emily. You can turn it and then uh, just slide it and fit it under until okay, it's crisscrossed. Go. Very good. Oh, cool. Perfect. Hey. And you all have your tops. Wait, what about these parts? That's that's like it's like the decoration. Yeah. You can like pull them up or leave them. Do they spin? Going out like that. Oh, cool. Okay, that yeah. is super. Oh, really?